Yes, so she's taking me one glass away, but I'll have to turn that back in a little minute. I've got a glass of sherbet now, but now that I'm on your back, say. Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Welcome again to West Meal, the Thomas Lord pub. Now, Thomas Lord was in fact the guy that founded the Lord's Cricket Ground in, in London. And I think the connection that he lived here briefly before he died and he's actually buried in the local church. Anyway, to stay on deck is a 22 mile long run and the weather is absolutely awful. It has actually stopped raining, so it might be a cap day or might not be. So, true to form, Sue's gone inside, so we'll see if we can find her. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Perch in the corner. I'm perched in the corner, I think. I was to say, this is the West Wing. This is the library, but it's not that's real library. I think that's a wallpaper. Oh, it is near a window. <laughs> it is near a window, actually, very helpful. I'll, I'll go and see whether that window opens, actually. Um, I've got some things for you. <laughs> oh, yes, lovely. And Check out the shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I think it's oh, on the cruise ship, the Guardian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what I do need <laughs> to keep me entertained. So have you got a beer yet? No, John, I've got a coffee, it's on my way. Ten left, oh that's very lovely. Yeah. Sparkling water and coffee to make everybody. That looks more of a good time. Thank you so much. That's alright? Thank you. No worries. Yes, so she's taking me one glass away, but I'll have to turn that back in a little minute. Yes. <laughs> what do the people come here? They'll understand. Hello everybody, about six miles into my run, it's absolutely miserable. I'm not liking this at all. I got absolutely soaked yesterday and today I felt absolutely worse. I've actually got a probably got a rain top on, which is it was about effective for about a mile. The cap's doing well and I've got an under gilet underneath, but uh, yeah, just feeling absolutely miserable. So I think I've done about six miles. I'll see if I get how many miles I can do. I'm slightly worried about sort of getting a bit hypothermic actually. But yeah, I'll carry on down here and then I'll sort of meander my way back to the Sioux. Maybe I'll see if I can get about 15 miles done because this really is, feels bloody awful. <laughs> I think I'll take a gel now as well, see if I can perk myself up a bit. My mistake, I seem to have hit a river. So <laughs> this is meant to be a country lane, but it's absolutely. Oh, it's a couple of inches deep at least, and I think I'll head back the other way, see if I can find a different way back. It's getting ridiculous. Let's see at the top there. I could probably sort of swim through, but I've got Primexes on, and uh, my feet are already a bit wet. I don't want to get them completely sodden. So let's sort of head back here and take a different route. Start to lose the wheel to live on this run at the moment. Hi, right, so I just interject by running through the rain to just give you a bit of a brief summary of my training for the last two weeks. A couple of people have been asking about it. So last week I did two videos. It was part of an 80 mile week. So the key session there was six by three K. We also did that from the Thomas Lord pub at West Mill. And that was one of the videos that I did previously. And then we had the 20 miler that was from East Harting. So that was part of an 80 mile week. The rest of the week was basically easy. We ran about averaging about an hour easy each day. And for me, that's about sort of 8.30 pace, 8.30, something like that. A few times we do some extra things at the end here. I had some hill sprints at the end of that session there. I was meant to run twice on the Friday, but I actually found it easier just to run once. I did an hour 13 instead of a 50 and a 40, and I failed to do the circuits that week. So this week, the long run there is culminating in the week. I did 75.7 miles. I was meant to do in this run sort of easy, see how the legs feel, but I want this to be less stressful and more about time on feet. That's Matt Reese, the Welsh runner, my coach there. So starting off the week, because I did that long run last week, we did a very easy 30 minutes, or then ended up doing 48 minutes. And then this is sort of fairly typical week now. So an hour easy plus strides. The strides probably accounted for most of the extra 20 minutes. And then I had a key session, which I didn't film. I actually went back to West Meal, and it was a dry, dry day, and did 3 by 5 k at marathon pace. Well, it was actually like 6.45 average, so that's about 2.56 marathon pace. But it felt like more like half marathon pace, but it was a good session. But not sure I could really keep that up, but it remains to be seen. After a taper, you never know. So that was basically 15k of running at around about 6.45 average. And then we had an hour easy. I actually did the circuits this week. I actually picked up a session from James Thies. 
Team Fee is an online website. I'll put a link down below. So it's quite handy for about half an hour of various things that I can do. I do find that quite difficult, but I think it's quite important. Friday, I was meant to do another double day, but actually sort of fell. But in a way, I was actually better because I ended up doing one hour 37 as a single run. <laughs> so that was 11 miles on the Friday. Saturday, I played golf in the morning. Rather miserable day. Not quite as miserable as it was today, but not a great uh, round of golf, but uh, good to keep my hand in. If I practice as much uh, golf as uh, running, I might be a bit better than I am. My handicaps or well, the stroke index is currently well it's gone up now to 12.1 my stroke index so I sort of effectively play off 14 and then I get 13 in the medal and then in the afternoon I did some hills and that was over Epsom Downs in the hills was okay and then it actually tipped it down on the way back to the car and I actually got wetter than I did today which it, you might find that hard to believe and then today there's the long run another mini river I had to wade through at least I got down the side on this one so I had a Morton Joe a few miles ago and I come across another river well, it's not too bad. I've already come through by swimming around that little bit. Now it's starting to rain again. I thought it started to brighten up, but now it's starting to rain quite heavily again. So, yeah, I think just have to wade through and see how we go. Primrose is doing okay. At least with the platforms, they sort of keep my feet above the water, don't they? So if we look at next week, just got an easy 30 minutes or even a rest tomorrow. Again, we've got an hour easy plus some hill sprints. It's either hill sprints or strides, effectively the same sort of thing. Not very long at all, just to keep my hand in. And then a big session this time, 15 by 3 minutes, around about 6.30 mile if flat. So that's maybe that's half marathon pace. One minute shuffle light jog. So that's really not doing a lot. So that's sort of, uh, yeah, that's sort of like a half marathon session, I think, but so that'd be good for my half marathon race which is down there on the 22nd of January hope to meet that running guy Chris McEwen at that one I think he's targeting a 128 so if I can get inside him I'll be pleased and then Thursday similar we've got an hour easy and then the circuits again if I if I can make it Friday is an hour easy Saturday we've got 2k at 10k effort and then a bit of a jog and then 12 by 300 fast so sort of working up the gears a bit here and then Sunday run, Sue's gone to Portugal. So only a two-hour run. So in a w way, that might be a slightly less mileage week. But I've got two big sessions in there. So looking forward to that. And then the week after, I've got this Farnborough Half Marathon. I did one hour 24.53 in that race three years ago before Seville. So I'm kind of replicating the same thing. And that's one, two, three, four weeks out from the race. So interesting to see what i do in the half marathon i think i was trying to see if i can get anywhere near about 126 that might then give me half a chance of a sub three in seville but we shall see anyway back to the video all right so 20 miles done and we actually are going to get this done i'm standing on a bit of old railway here the, the railway used to go underneath the uh this bridge here but it's sort of filled in so i've got a downhill descent now to west me on this uh nike jacket when the wind blows it actually drives it all quite nicely so better than i thought but yeah, a real getting it done run. See if I can whisk me on. Okay, we're almost at the end of the run. I didn't actually come up this bit on the way out because it's like a boating lake, but I have to just go through this one, don't I? Okay, we're in the boating lake of West Mion, not far from the pub now. Wow, we're finally back, 22.22 miles, so exactly four miles short of a marathon in about three hours eight. So yeah, that was about a willpower, really glad to get that done actually, because after about five miles I was completely soaked, completely cold and was ready to go home. But yeah, it's all about marathon training, just getting it done sometimes when you really don't feel up to it. So yeah, let's go inside and see if we can find Sue. Dr. Gross has just appeared and it was just vile at that. Honestly, Tim, it was beyond wet. Working lake up the road. I took to, uh, every water bath that deep. <laughs> also, we've got music on in the background, so I don't know whether Tim's even able to use this footage, and it's like music that you could slit your throat to. It's like semi quasi religious. Talk over it. Talk over it. Yeah, semi religious quasi folk music. I've had that for three hours. It's like being nibbled to death by mice. Anyway, this is Dr. Gross, who's looking like... 22.2 miles. Oh, 22.5 yeah. miles. Oh, my darling. 
If there is a, if there is a, my cap. I hate caps and I hate, I hate jackets. Oh, darling, if there is a, if there is any justice in this world, you absolutely deserve sub three hours at Seville. I think, I think that's the only dry bit of you, darling. I think all of the rest of you looks absolutely, yeah. Well, darling, uh, I've been very caring. I got you a pint of lime and soda, yeah, and then I realised that you... T- I was following you on Strava, and then you came and went straight past the door, obviously to make up the whatever remaining bit of it. I think you need to drink all of that and hydrate, darling. So, anyway, this is uh, Tim signing off, I think, when he goes and... I have rarely seen him look so... For you should have seen me yesterday on the ups and downs. I was even wetter. <laughs> yeah, very rarely does Tim look reluctant to go out, but there was a lot of putting on of the cap, taking off of the cap, putting on of the shoes. And I said to him, well, you don't have to go. Well, that was like telling our I cat. I turn around after about five miles, but I'm glad Did you? Yeah. I know, so, darling. Well, Tim... Uh, this, Tim... This dries off quite nicely, actually. Does it? Anyway, so, hope you fancy this thing, like and subscribe on that, and see you next one, then. And see you soon. Oh, yeah, and that's that, that's me. I, I'm, I've, I've got a fortnight off, actually, because I'm going to where the sun shines. So, next week, I should be in Portugal. Temperature today, 18. Near Seville. Near Seville. Yeah. Uh, but I will be, uh, yes, in Portugal. No running. Most certainly not. I will be doing the one extreme sport that I do, which is I get in the sea on any day, in any weather. That is me and my extremeness. Yeah. Mm. All, right. All right then, okay. So, uh, don't turn the camera around, just say goodbye. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Mark from Sue. Got a glass of sherbet now, when that'll be your back Thank you guys, bye. Here's the run today on Strava, 22.22 miles. That was deliberate, so keep it exactly four miles short of a full marathon. The moving time was just over three hours, and the elapsed time was 3.08. I think the, the, most of that eight minutes was when I was trying to work out how to get through all those sort of uh, semi-rivers on the lanes. And there's my route. Fairly sort of circuit route. I wasn't quite sure where I was going to go, but I was going to sort of go somewhere. Then that was the, the, the river I ended up doing at the end. So I ended up doing like a sort of a, a loop. And I kind of like almost had to improvise a bit. That was the bit I had to sort of uh, navigate back on myself because of the, the, the road was like a river. And then I actually got as far as Hinton Abner there near the National Trust place and then sort of meandered back then I did a bit more going up back up the main road and then back down again to make it up to 22 miles so yeah a nice little session and it's quite undulating as you can see there's there's the uh, elevation curve heart rate was only 116 average cadence 176 so you can see like the little times there I stopped not too often I kept it going fairly well and there's the splits no I wasn't really thinking of pace today uh, what was the fastest split? Strava for Source says I did a 718 mile. That must have been a really heavy downhill section, I think. Yeah, yeah there we go. Where's that? Oh, that was after about six miles. Well, the downhill section, that was a 718. So what was the slowest mile? There's a, there's a 905 there. Oh, I did have a little stop in that. And there's an 853. That was straight out of West Meon climbing up the main road just to get the miles done. So, yeah, you can see that there. There was almost a minute difference between the actual pace and the gap pace. So that really is quite a challenge. So 7.48 on the flat, that would be quite ticking over quite nicely. So it's interesting here that on the flat bit there and going uphill, my actually effort didn't really change at all. That was just purely based on feel. I wasn't really looking at my stride or anything. I had a bit of a problem with the stride. It got too much water in the stride towards the end and the air power went mad and i got a critical power update that i shouldn't have done but anyway that's another subject of another video